Hi guys, this is Crystal and today we are going to recreate Maddie's makeup look. Hi everyone, this is Crystal and today we are going to recreate Maddie's birthday look from the show Euphoria. I'm just moisturizing right now, so don't mind me. It's been a crazy season. This past episode from Sunday was really intense with Rue battling her addiction and everything. I think it really shed um, light on people who are, are dealing with addiction. It definitely brings a different perspective, I think, to people who haven't really been exposed to it. I have been dying to try out one of Maddie's looks and I decided that I'm going to recreate her look from her birthday. Maddie's looks are kind of intimidating. They're very um, edgy and bold and kind of like bad bitch vibes. Completely like not how I usually do my makeup. So maybe that's why I'm so intimidated by it because um, I usually go for more of like a natural look and she goes for a very dramatic wing and it's been a while since I've uh, done a dramatic wing on myself so this is a bit more of a challenge I think for myself and pushing myself out of my comfort zone so we'll see how it goes. Alright so let's take a look at Maddie's makeup from her birthday. There's not a lot of colors going on. Big chunky liner, baby blue, pastel blue, in the inner corner. Tiny bit of blush, not really much bronzer, and just like over lined lips. There's not a whole lot of elements, but more so focused on like the technique and precision of that eyeliner. All right, let's go. I'm gonna start with priming my face. I'm using the Unseen Sunscreen from Supergoop. I'm gonna start with my eye look first because you don't want it to mess up my base. And I'm just using the eye primer from Rare Beauty. Do a little bit of eye primer right underneath my eye. Now I am going to just a little bit just to brighten my under eye. That one's the Pat McGrath concealer. And of course I'll link everything in the description box below. Uh, I just broke my eye. Ah. I'm just gonna dust my under eye so it doesn't crease. And this is the Givenchy Prism Luxor Powder. I'm gonna do my brows really quick. Maddie doesn't really have a ton going on with her brows. So that's kind of how I do my brows now too. A little bit of brow gel. This is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I am going to set my eyelid. I am using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. This color right here, Ludwin. Now for the eyeliner. I just got a package from uh, my friend who works at NYX and she sent me a bunch of stuff to play with and I'm so excited about it. Like my jaw literally dropped when I got the package. Sent me a bunch of There's so much stuff in here. Oh. She sent me so much stuff. One of them is this black eyeliner. This is the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick, which actually worked really well for this look. She sent me a few different colors of that. And then she also sent me a bunch of Epic Smoke Liners. These are double-ended eyeliners with like a longer flat stick and then a blending brush. It's so cute. It looks like a, those brushes that were really popular back in the day. This is going to be good for the inner corner. I think this palette is just going to be absolutely perfect for that blue that is going to go on top of this 
eyeliner for the inner corners. All right, let's see if I can do this. The pressure's on. I think I'm gonna start with the white. Do the inner corner first. I'm just gonna draw a line from the front to the middle part of my eye and then also underneath. I'm gonna do the black and then I'll go in with the blue. The wing is like pretty far out, so first very lightly. Maddie actually has the black going almost all the way into her inner corner, but because I have Asian eyes, I don't really wanna do that, otherwise it's gonna make my eyes look really small. I'm just gonna do it kinda of halfway, very similar to what I did on the top. I think that's a pretty good shape. Okay, this is really exciting. So now I'm gonna fill in what I just did. that up a little bit higher. Alrighty, this side. So that is, I think, the eyeliner portion. I'm gonna do the blue next. So I'm just taking this little brush right here. I'm just gonna go into this like turquoisey color in this palette, and this is the Ultimate Shadow Palette from NYX. And I'm just basically layering that on the white eyeliner. Right. I'm going to take this brush right here, which I think might actually be like an Anastasia Beverly Hills brow brush, but I'm just taking the shade and light palette again and using this black color and I'm just gonna go over the black eyeliner and set that with the shadow now I'm gonna take this smudge brush and I'm just gonna kind of like blend the middle between the two colors so it's not as harsh of a transition and on the bottom as well i feel like i could use more concealer do that a little bit of that that and blend that out Try not to get too close to my eyeliner. Now I am going to put on some foundation and I'm using the Dior Backstage foundation. Just dabbing a little all over my face. I'm gonna use a foundation brush to blend that out. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit of this Rare Beauty blush. She doesn't have a ton of blush on, so I'm just gonna do this very lightly. One tiny dot. It's so small, but it's so pigmented. Okay, maybe I could use a tiny little bit more. And then I'm just doing this on top of my cheekbone and up towards my temple. Now I'm gonna go in powder my face with the same setting powder as earlier. Just doing some across my lid as I already see some oil coming out on my lids and I don't want it to mess up the eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer and this is the Fenty Beauty bronzer just very lightly now I'm going to put on some blush and this is the Tarte 12 hour blush 
and I love this blush. I use it all the time. I already know what lashes I'm gonna use. I have no idea what brand these lashes are. I actually wore these for my wedding day. I did ask my makeup artist, uh, Julian, who is amazing, where these lashes are from, but I forgot. It's been a while. I'm only worn these again, maybe like once since my wedding. They are still in really, really good condition. I guess it's a special occasion today. <laughs> I'm actually putting these on like a little bit left lifted towards the back of the eye because I want it to have like a little bit of a cat eye effect. Last step, I am gonna do my lips and I'm using the Kylie Jenner Malibu lip liner. I actually don't recommend this because it just keeps falling apart whenever I try to sharpen it. The color is nice, but the quality of the product is really not that great. I am going to overline, and then on the bottom, I'm gonna overline just in the center. Like that. This is uh, the right note from MAC. This is like a super matte nude color. So this is the Fenty lip balm. And that is pretty much the finished product. So I'm just gonna do my hair really quick to see the full look. I just did my hair and Maddie has this very center part slick back look, which I actually wear quite often. Some hoop earrings, a silver necklace, which does not have a heart pendant on it, but I feel like it's giving off a lot of Maddie vibes, right? Well, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. This was definitely pushing me out of my comfort zone. Don't forget to hit the like button because it really helps me out. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks. Bye.